Are your accessories frumpy or aging? We're gonna figure it out in today's video. Hi, this is Netta. If you are new here, my whole goal here is to help you conquer style over 40. To feel confident in your style, feel confident in your choices, um, buy the right things, wear them the right ways so that you feel beautiful and confident every single day. That's the goal of this channel. And uh, that leads me into today's topic, which is something that I've been getting asked about a lot. So I just completed um, a create your perfect outfit challenge in my private Facebook group. And we just had an amazing time with this challenge. Women from all over the world, all different ages, um, over, over 35, 40, and um, we just had a great time together. One of the things that came up again and again was the topic of accessories. Because a lot of times I would notice that the clothes were really well thought out and fit well, were styled well, were even contemporary and flattering. And then what brings down the entire outfit is the accessories. You know, you know that accessories are important. I know you've heard me say it before. You've, you, you've experienced it in your own life and in your own style, but what is the difference between an accessory that can make you feel frumpy and an accessory that can make you feel current and contemporary and beautiful. Let's talk about that here. And if this is something that's interesting to you and you wanna see more videos on this and you want more examples and more illustrations, let me know in the comments. It means so much to me. And of course, while you're in the comments, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, all, all of the things, okay? So first thing I wanna talk about is um, bags and specifically quilted floral bags. Oh, quilted floral bags are, okay, a few years ago, these were really trending among my tween age daughter and her friends. And they bought the, you know, the backpacks and the the messenger bags and the um, crossbodies and the little, um, all the little accessories that went with them, the lunch bags. But you know, they, to me, they were fun and cute and colorful for um, somebody that age. Um, after a certain age, a quilted floral bag is not is not a contemporary look and it's not a flattering look and can really kind of make it make your your whole outfit appear a little older a little mature a little dated um it definitely has um grandma like connotations in this type of bag and unless i mean we can be grandmas and still be super super stylish right but these bags just just don't cut it in my opinion. So the first style mistake that you might be making with your accessories is um, to, to carry a dated bag or a potentially frumpy bag. And these floral quilted bags that I've been seeing a lot and have been asked about a lot are um, the, the most common offender in this category. Other offenders, and I've shared this a little bit before, are the really very utilitarian bags that have a ton of pockets on the outside that are usually in the color of silly putty um, and that just don't really have any interesting details or design elements that make them contemporary. Okay, so that's the first accessory style mistake that you might be making that can be aging you. The second is bad glasses. Uh, we talk a lot about eyewear and eyeglasses in my Ageless Style program, which is just starting up again, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, we, we really, we have the best and most amazing style community anywhere. Um, and so you can find out about that below, but we really dive into um, glasses with, with the women in that uh, program who wear them and who are in the process of choosing a new pair because they are so important. So one of the things we want to stay away from is the very, very thin wire rimmed glasses, you know, that in, in, you know, old movies and stuff, the librarian would wear and it would sit at the top, at the tip of your nose. Um, you know, it, obviously that's such a cliche and such a stereotype. Um, but that those types of, um, of glasses that, that, that women would look down over the over the top of in in movies and on TV shows. Those are like just not doing you any favors in terms of of brightening your face, um, adding interest to your outfits, helping you look contemporary, helping you look stylish. There are so many beautiful pairs of glasses. So just being intentional about your eyewear, choosing a shape that fits your face, and then choosing a really cool frame that complements your coloring, complements your bone structure, complements your face, brightens you, adds interest, adds a contemporary 
temporary touch to everything you wear. So glasses are really, really important. Another offender, and I'm, I'm guilty of this when it comes to bad glasses, is drugstore readers. It might be time now for me to admit that I need reading glasses and go get a real pair because I have been buying reading glasses from Walgreens and the dollar store for long enough because I've kind of been in denial about the fact that my 2020 vision is no longer 2020. So even if like me, you just need a slight, like you need cheaters or if you need full fledged glasses, your reading glasses should be um, flattering, should be in a color and in a shape that really flatters your face and that brings out your best coloring. So bad readers and kind of very mature looking styles of eyeglasses are two of, of the style mistakes that you might be making that age you when it comes to eyewear. Okay, another style mistake that you might be making that can age you with accessories is wearing too many clunky and chunky accessories. So statement accessories are back. Um, but the delicate pieces that we've seen in the last few seasons are still in style. So we're still seeing delicate layered necklaces in addition to really, really thick, chunky chain necklaces in, in, as a trend right now. We're still seeing delicate earrings um, and delicate hoops as, a, and as well as really big statement earrings and mismatched statement earrings. So we're, it's kind of all over the place when it comes to trends right now. We're seeing one extreme or the other. What we're not seeing as much of is the in-between. And you know, when we take a lot of our special or sentimental pieces and we wear too many of them at the same time. So say you have a lot of rings with different gemstones on them and um, bracelets that you've acquired over the years and you're wearing them all on your hands at the same time and they're not a contemporary, you know, a, a lot of like, I was looking through my own jewelry collection and I'm never gonna get rid of these, but you know, I have an opal ring from high school and I have a sapphire ring from college. And if I were to wear all of those at the same time, Time, that look would be chunky and busy and not contemporary looking. And what it also does is it can draw attention to maybe if you don't love your hands, you don't want a lot of chunky rings on your hand. Maybe you want one cool piece rather than a lot of layered pieces. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're going to layer, make the layers delicate. Um, if you're going to wear a lot of your, um, if you're going to wear your favorite and sentimental pieces, then, then keep it to one or two at the most of those special pieces so that they can really stand out and that you're not um, kind of bringing your entire look down by wearing too many not so contemporary accessories at one time. So um, wearing clunky and chunky jewelry and wearing too much of it is definitely a style mistake that can be aging you. Okay, comfort shoes. I'm doing a whole other video on comfort shoes because I've gotten so many questions since my last shoe video um, asking for more illustrations and more pictures. But um, comfort shoes, if you go like on Zappos or you go on Nordstrom or you go on any site that sells shoes um, and you filter by comfort shoes, the first shoes that come up, those are the ones I'm telling you not to buy. <laughs> those are the ones I'm saying to avoid because, oh my goodness, there are some clunky and chunky and not flattering shoes in the comfort footwear category. That said, there are also a lot of really, really nice shoes. So I've got a catalog link below with, with what I consider the most stylish comfort shoes out there. Um, again, what I think is the most contemporary comfort shoe is a cool sneaker in black or white. A cool, sleek sneaker, Nike, Adidas, Converse, whatever you like in black or white, uh, Superga, um, the Everlane Forever sneaker. One of those is going to be, you know, of course, the Veja. I, I could go on and on. Um, there's some really cool sneakers out there that are just simple and sleek and will look so much more contemporary and also be really, really comfortable. But the clunky sandal, and I, I, I know I'm going to go off on a tangent on shoes because I just can't. But okay, so the Birkenstock style sandals, they're in gold and in rose gold. And you know, if that's your style and that's your aesthetic, absolutely, those are trendy. I do not like them. I will never wear them. But keep in mind that when you're wearing a style of, of sandal like that, it's a, a chunky, thick sandal with a wide um, profile, right? So when you're wearing shoes like that, you need to make sure that the rest of the outfit is super flattering. And you need to pay attention to where the line of your pants or, or your outfit hits those shoes. Because a lot of times, 
I, you know, someone will post a picture on my Facebook group and say, these pants don't work. Something's wrong with these pants. I don't find them flattering. It's not the pants, it's the shoes. It's the shoes. So you're wearing the pants with the wrong shoes and that's why you've got that chunky line that kind of creates that heaviness at the bottom and makes your pants look unflattering. So keep in mind that if you're going to wear chunkier shoes, which are in style right now, that you're going to want to adjust your wardrobe and your outfit accordingly. And if you're thinking that something might be wrong with overall look, it may be the shoes. So comfort shoes and chunky shoes are, are in my opinion, not flattering and can definitely age you and so you have to really style those in a way that is going to make you look beautiful so comfort shoes are not your friend in general you want comfortable shoes that are also stylish you need both so um even if you have bunions even if you have wide feet even if you have super narrow feet if no matter what your foot issue is there is a pair of shoes out there that is both stylish and comfortable and so that's what you want to find you don't want you don't want shoes that look in the same way that you don't want a purse that looks strictly utilitarian you don't want shoes that look strictly comfortable like oh she picked those shoes because they're comfortable but oh cute shoes i hope they're also comfortable that's what you want with shoes right okay you know i can go on and on about shoes it's a pet pet subject of mine okay the next thing i want to talk about is fussy scarves so the thing about scarves is that um they are not going to flatter everybody equally. Um, if you have a full bust, if you don't have a lot of space between here and here, you might find that a scarf is not your friend. I know that I have a harder time wearing scarves. Um, a lot depends on the length of your neck, this whole part of your body. Um, and if you want more information on, on whether a scarf is going to be flattering for you, the lengths to wear them, how to wear them, the neckline to wear with them, all of that stuff, let me know in the comments below. Um, I do have a system that can really help you find exactly um, where and how you should be wearing your scarves because they really are critical. Again, don't forget, we're kind of highlighting our necks and that may or may not be a good thing depending on who you are. And there's a way to wear a scarf more successfully and in a more flattering way. So scarves can be tricky. You want to make sure that you're choosing scarves that are really contemporary, that the color really just lights you up and makes you look beautiful, and you want to be wearing them in a contemporary way. So again, this deserves a whole other video. I still love tying a scarf on a bag, um, you know, looping your scarf, you know, through your belt loop, um, just wearing them in fun and unconventional ways, wearing them tucked in around the collar of your coat. Um, you know, there are just a lot of different ways to play with scarves. If you love the look of a scarf and you're kind of hesitant on whether um, they are flattering for you. So scarves that look really classic or really um, traditional can sometimes look a little bit mature and not as contemporary looking. So those are my style accessory mistakes that can age you. So I'm just going to recap, you know, the quilted floral or quilted printed bags, um, bad glasses, too much chunky jewelry, comfort shoes, and fussy scarves or frumpy scarves. So I want to know which of these um, resonates with you. Do you have any more questions about each of these? Should I make a separate video <laughs> on each of these categories? Because I feel like I could just go on and on about each of these different different accessories. Um, and again, you know, it means so much to me when you like and subscribe. I want to know what is interesting to you, what you want to see more of, whether you want to see more illustrations, whether you want to see part two, part 12, part 74 of this video. We could talk about this all day. Love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around and I will see you in the next video.